afternoon. You are listening to me, Nihal, on the BBC Asian Network. Is it unfair to call the government racist over its extradition policy? You may be aware that Gary McKinnon won his fight against extradition yesterday when the Home Secretary said that it would not benefit his human rights to go to America because there was a likelihood he could commit suicide. He suffers from Asperger's. Saeed Tala Ashan suffers from Asperger's. The government was told he may be a suicide threat. But he is in America. He was extradited. Do you think that's because he was Muslim? And Gary McKinnon is not? Or do you think it has more to do with the fact that the charges against Saeed Ashan are more serious? They involve terrorism charges. Or certainly helping to fund, through websites, the Taliban and other quote-unquote extremists. Is that what people should be looking at, rather than the religion of the two men? Or do you believe this confirms what you always thought? That the government's policy is racist? 81869 on the text. Email nihal at bbc.co.uk or give me a call on 08459 440445. My guests are Hamja Ashan the brother of Saeed Tala Ashan and Anita Kapoor, the Conservative councillor. Uh, good afternoon to you both. Good afternoon, Nihal. Uh, Hamja, if I could start with you, my friend. Would you use the word racist as Mohammed Shafiq from the Ramadan Foundation has used? Um, there's certainly double standards and quite a scandalous level of hypocrisy. Um, other groups have said it was racist, um, not just Muslim groups with chips on their shoulder, like Scotland against criminalising communities or ministries of justice um so there seems to be a, a strong case and um yeah as i said dala has an assessed suicide risk and dala has asperger syndrome he's a vulnerable citizen as david cameron calls them um <clears throat> why doesn't david cameron and theresa may's compassion extend to him mm. okay anita kapoor good afternoon uh, good afternoon Aliha. what do you um, think i my heart goes out to the gentleman that just spoke before, because obviously it's his brother and there are emotions there. Um, but on the other side, I have compassion for the people who have been victims of terrorism. And I think this is the bigger picture. I think the whole extradition treaty needs to be looked at for the simple fact that why should we send people abroad to be punished or judged? Um, it is actually undermining our own justice system. If we need, um, what should I say, if we need to punish, in brackets, people who have done things wrong or are inciting uh, things to go wrong in this country, then we need to punish them here. And if we are to extradite them, then they should take away the privilege of being a citizen of this country and sent back to the country they were born in. And those who are born here we have to deal with it on our soil. Mm. That is my view. It may not be the party view, but that is my personal view. Um, well, I mean, uh, cannot, let, let, let's put extradition policy aside. Do you not think, as um, Hamja is saying, that there is double standards here? That no, one gentleman with Asperger's syndrome is treated differently to another one with Asperger's it's, syndrome? It's, it's not the disease, uh, and with all due respect, I hope that nobody ever gets this disease, and I hope they are looked after, both of them medically, and et cetera, et cetera. However, the two intentions were different. Um, and uh, as I said, I don't have the case file in front of me. I haven't analysed it. Yeah. But any threat to the public is unacceptable from whatever source. Mm. Hamja? Can I... No, so for a start, the yeah, Dalla hasn't actually been found guilty of anything. There's just no. a series of allegations which right. don't require evidence. And uh, Gary McKinnon admitted that he hacked into the military computers of the United States and left messages saying American government policy is like state-sponsored terrorism and I will continue to disrupt. 
all this stuff about little green men may be a little part of it, but he did do that. Um, if a Muslim did the same thing, how would that be perceived? And, um, <clears throat> yeah, Dalla denies all charges and wrongdoing, and he hasn't even been given the chance after, you know, serving the equivalent of a 12-year sentence, because half of it's on parole, so he spent six years, um, which is the same time you'd get for something like armed robbery or rape or something. And, uh, and I agree with Anita. My heart is with the victims of terrorism. And not only that, my heart is with Gary McKinnon. I campaigned for Gary McKinnon. I campaigned for Richard Edwire. I campaigned for the non-Muslim and the white British citizens because I thought this was unfair to them. You know, you introduce bad law for, you know, suspect communities like the Muslims, but then it ends up affecting everyone. But are you ignoring the case? Because there, it is very specific, isn't it? It is very yeah, different, isn't it? In the heart... It, it, at the heart of it, Hamja, yeah. that, that, you know, these the accusations that are put against your brother are very different, aren't they? Um, the, the case should be taken on different merits, but as I said, if a Muslim left a message and hacked into military computers um, and left messages saying the US um, government is guilty of state-sponsored terrorism, um, would that be, you know... That well, we have no way of knowing that, so it's a, a rather silly question. The, the question surely should be, what is your brother accused of, how does it differ from what Gary yeah. McKinnon was accused of? And it does differ, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I, 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 well, they're different cases, of course. Well, absolutely, but the charges, you could understand that this government and the American I, government I would think differently. Before, I, and I say, I'm, I'm very happy Gary didn't get extradited because his family doesn't have to go through the same nightmare I'm going through now. But um, <clears throat> in, in Dalha's case, um, you know, he never went to the United States and most of his offences are about things that occurred in Bosnia, Chechnya and Afghanistan, which isn't in the United States. Um, well, Afghanistan is where American troops are and well, if you are raising web... allegedly money for the Taliban, then no, the that website, is putting American no, the service website, personnel in danger, isn't it? Sorry, the website has been obsolete since 2001 on US servers, so it was defunct for the, and obsolete for five years at the time of Dallas' arrest. And um, <clears throat> the, at that time, the, that the, that was the government of that country. They weren't actually a fighting force. It was before the United States and Britain invaded. So that was the actual de facto government. I'm not. Hi. This is this is before. You know, I haven't. Dal hasn't actually been found guilty of this anyway. But I'm just pointing that out. So can I just make <coughs> a comment? Um, we've talked about um, they think. Well, if it was a Muslim, excuse me. Can I just say what happened in India? What happened in America? What happened in the tube here? Um, it's not us anti-Muslim. It just seems that a particular uh, pathway of faith, and I'm not saying brush, you know, brushing uh, everybody with the same brush, seems to have taken it upon themselves to create, um, what shall I say, not only havoc, but to create death. Yeah, and I, that I, is I, unacceptable. I, Look at that I, poor girl in hospital being shot for her view. I, uh, well, this has nothing think, to do with, with Thala, no, no, does it? No, but what I'm saying is, he, he said, yeah. well, it seems to be sort of anti-Muslim. It isn't. It's just I'm that not... certain things have happened to make you feel, well, you know, it's I mean, one... I mean, okay, okay, let, let's just... my brother based on these other cases which have nothing to do with him. I, I, I don't view that as a just way to look at it. I'm as much against M7 as... Wait, 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 Anita, I mean... It is rather unfair, isn't it? I mean, what what religion are you, Anita? I was born a Hindu. Right, okay, but, but born a Hindu, a would you would you like it if all Muslims regarded you as complicit in what happened in Gujarat? No, but what no, I'm saying. No, but you you expect no. do Can you I, expect Muslims to be, to feel though they should say sorry for every act that is committed I'm by people? I'm not saying that. Them? What I'm saying is that if all Hindus, forget, uh, including in Gujarat, including in all over the world, had crazy created, uh, and is it ostracities, I hope I pronounce it right, um, then, of course, I am just as guilty for not stopping it, for not uh, bringing these people to justice as anybody else. They say that if you, st if you see a sin or a crime happening and you do nothing, then you are just as guilty. Oh, I'm sorry, um, that would say, because all, all, there's lots of good British people who oppose the Iraq war, and other a million people crimes. marched. They weren't all Muslims. And, and they're, they're, they shouldn't be implicated in their guilt. That's the mentality of terrorists. OK, let's leave it there for a second. I want to go to Rab. Good afternoon, Rab. Hello there. Good afternoon, Nihal. So, one rule for Muslims, another rule for non-Muslims, or do you think that this is actually about the charges? It's always been, well, for a very long time, it's been one rule for Muslims and one rule for everybody else. W w I don't why know do you why think we that? all seem very surprised about that anyway. What, why, where, why is, where's the precedent for you saying that then? Where's right. the evidence? Well, you, know, you know, the precedent is, for example, 
these uh, people that have been locked up for so many years without any charges, uh, you know, the, you know the guy Barbara Ahmed, for example. Well, they were locked up because they were fighting extradition. They were fighting extradition, but they were locked up without any charges. And I mean, that would never happen to uh, uh, you know somebody else in this country who wasn't a Muslim. And well, wait a minute, but someone, say if someone was an international drug dealer and a flight risk, yeah, but and they were fighting extradition, yeah, they'd stay in prison. A UK citizen. He wasn't an international drug dealer. He was a UK citizen. That's what I'm no, no, but say. you can be an international drug dealer and a UK citizen. There are plenty of people who do that, unfortunately. Well, not plenty, but okay. there are some who do that. Right. And first of all, I mean, to me, I mean, this has just put the icing on the cake. First of all, <clears throat> this gentleman that, uh, you know, uh, what's his name? The one who hasn't been extradited, Gary McKinnon. Yes. Uh, I don't think he should have been extradited either. Let's get that clear first. I haven't got any problem with anybody that's, you know... Uh, I think this law in this country has got every you know power to deal with things itself. And if you remember, it was about a couple of weeks ago when you had the show on, I rang in for the same topic as well, when they were going to be extraditing them. And I said, it's absolutely a shame that, you know, we do have a law in this country and that we are, like, you know, being dictated to by, you know, other countries, uh, as in to say that hand these people over to us because you guys don't know what you're talking about in, in your country and we can deal with it. First of all, I, I think that was, you know, the very, very wrong thing that they handed over the other, the other guys. But this um, has just literally put the icing on the cake. And, you know, like your caller that, uh, you know, I think you'd like, you know, I think the woman caller that you've got on. Anita Kapoor. Yeah. <clears throat> I've heard her many times before on different topics as well. And she sounds very, very anti-Muslim anyway. I don't even know why you bother calling her on to be taking part in this sort well, of she has a, she has an alternative point of view, um, and yeah, we're allowed to have alternative points. That's the whole point of a debate, her, her, Rob. Her, her view is going to be, you know, uh, you know, against it because first of all, she's part of the Conservative Party, which is, you know, uh, the people who make the decisions at the moment. So getting her on isn't going to give a fair view anyway. And secondly, she isn't a Muslim, so she's not going to give a favour Muslim uh, or, you know, a fair favour towards Muslims. Well, with, with, with all due respect, people are allowed to have opinions that they may not agree. Wait, wait, and just because they don't agree with right. yours, that doesn't mean on. that they're wrong necessarily. Yeah, but she can't it? come on. on, on uh, she, she shouldn't be allowed to come on the radio. OK, this isn't a debate. Right. This, wait a minute. This isn't a debate about women, I mean, because you're yeah. sounding a little bit like a dictator, yeah. uh, Rab, who's saying who can and can't and have a voice. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that she's trying to justify something because she's I'm not just in power. I'm wait, 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 Rab. Actually, let Anita defend herself. Anita, go on. Can I just say that I have members of my family who are Muslim, so that putting whatever he says, I'm not against Muslim, but the thing is that whenever we discuss Islam or we discuss the Muslim uh, section of the community, <laughs> everybody comes up in arms, excuse me, this is a free country, and that girl that was shot, and I call myself... Oh, is it really a free country? Malalala, her right, name, right. I say that every woman and everybody, this is what that uh, we, we, Why can't we do that? Wait a minute, uh, Anita, 10,000 10, Muslim? Muslims in Pakistan marched in protest about what happened agree, to Talala. I agree, but we have so, to discuss it. You careful. see, what, they do, what people like uh, your caller before don't like is when people show a bit of a mirror and say there are sections of our community, whatever c colour or creed, who are behaving in a way that is unacceptable to the people of this world. Right, can I come and, back and answer that? Uh, I'm sorry, discussion and yes. debate, free speech is important, and that poor girl is fighting for her life, and she says it all. Can, 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 you, can, you, can you stop bringing this girl into the equation? We're not talking about the girl being shot. We're talking about two people being extradited. We're talking about people that have been extradited. Stop yes, trying to play the actual sympathy card, yeah? To try and me. get people to go into your side of thinking or whatever. I say, uh, do you know what? I'm, I'm quite... absolutely appalling, and most people agree with that. Yeah, right? most people with in their right no, mind do, no, yeah. no, no debate there at all. Everybody agrees with that, that it was absolutely appalling, regardless of what faith you are. We're talking about the difference of... Shut up and listen. Wait a minute, Anita, sorry, one second.